Hi, Hallie here. Thank you for jumping in on Hallie's Creations. I hope you enjoy this next share. And without any further ado, let's do this. Don't forget to subscribe and notify so you won't miss out on any more videos. A regular bouquet. And for me, what we're going to do is, um, there's so many different ways to make a bouquet. I'm going to do a sunflower bouquet because those are real popular right now. And I'm going to show you how to fake it out with your stems too. So we're gonna kinda of go through this fast, but that's okay because it's a live video and we can just rewind and watch it whenever you want because I'll upload it to my Hallie's Little Treasures. Plus I leave it on my page too. So what I did is I ordered these off of Amazon and I cut the bottom out and I used this little saw here just to cut it off because on some of the um, you'll see where you can just kind of wrap it around the outside here but that kind of makes it for me a little bulky and when you can just put them in here like this you see and then when you wrap this it's going to show you nothing because it's going to be wrapped and it's going to look like this okay so while we're doing that i'm going to throw some glue down in here because you don't want these falling out on the on the bride or your kinciata young girl um, so we're going to just drop some glue down in here super easy peasy and be generous with your glue it's okay ah! just squirt that down there this one doesn't want to work too well for me it's being difficult these days i might have to get a new glue gun we're just going to shove that down in there get another glue stick trying to make this happen here um, with your glue too, there we go. We're going to drop these down while the glue is still hot. And you could put more than just this many in there. Okay? I'm just doing that just to give you the visual. Okay? So that's kind of how I do it for the, the fake out stems. I'm trying to get one more here. Um, I have my little bag of tricks here. Where I get these from is when you get your florals, some of them have these little wraps on them already. So you can just save them. Use your little wire cutters to trim them down. And there you go with that. And then just kind of tuck it in and give it a second. And the reason we're starting with this piece first is because once you put your flowers on, it's harder to manipulate and move around. So if you make this um, first, it just makes life a lot easier for you, okay? This bouquet, you can do them different ways. So like on this one, I ran um, the fabric up. See how it goes in here? This is the, the flat kind, not the ball, but the other kind. So I have the lace and then I put a little, it's not like things finished off. So I put some flowers around the bottom and then I did like the little, um, gosh, it's really hard to show you. Can you see that? I did lace over it. So I made like a little lace pocket and then I did the fancy little braid. Okay. So that's another way of wrapping it. Just doing it like that. But always for me, I've learned through the years is to pre-wrap. Just the basic wrap we didn't do the ball on it we just did the the gather okay so once you did the gather hi Marlene I did um, like a beaded wrap on it the pearl beaded wrap and this serves at two two purposes actually it decorates the bouquet but then after the wedding the bride can use this as a pearl wrap bracelet so it comes off and it wraps around your arm so I, I do jewelry too, so I thought, oh, that'd be kind of fun to have that for a bride. Yeah. I wanted you to see what it looks like when you just leave it. And what I did on this one is I just did a little tuck, tuck and roll in here. Just a little tuck and roll. But this is just a plain one where I didn't do anything for you. You could just see with it being plain. Okay? So that's more of a spring type. And then you can use it. 
the smaller bouquets, you can keep them and you can use them. Hello back there. You can use them as centerpieces around your home and stuff. For like a um, the bridesmaids and such or the throw bouquet. Oh. With, we, we sawed this off, we put these in, we glued them in. So now we're going to wrap it. Burlap's really popular right now. So we're going to um, burlap it. And all we're gonna do is wrap it. So you're just gonna take it and you're just gonna wrap, wrap this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come up here, see here? And I'm actually going to start here. I'm gonna wrap it and I'm gonna bring it up here a little bit too. So we're gonna glue gun this to hold it in place. I'm trying to do this where you can follow and see too. So just kind of run a little glue down here about the width of your ribbon. Can you see that? Don't burn your fingers. <laughs> and the key to um, being really good and successful with these as well is don't feel like you um, have to spare your fabric, just go for it. So you're gonna wrap it really tight, okay? So we're gonna come down, we're gonna twist it and bring it down. You can see that, right? And see how we're covering this up now? So now you don't see that these are just in a holder. And for me, I'm gonna bring it back up. Sorry about that. And I'm gonna go up and above here and try to cover up some of this okay and you'll see how it's bunching here and just coming down that's okay and then we're just going to cut it we're just doing a basic simple one today because I just uh, I don't want people to get too uh, overwhelmed with the complications of how these are made so bring it down Turn all over the place here um, Bring it down and just, just wrap it. And then you're gonna, for me, I like to do a finished tuck. So, tuck that over like that, and then we're gonna glue it down. The reason I decided to do the bridal bouquet um, class, sorry people, I don't wave while I'm doing this anymore because I've learned that it does this, and I don't wanna do that to you. So, um, I'll give a shout out when the live feed is over with. So we're just gonna go bring this over. Hi, Teresa. We're gonna go to the top now. Okay. So now it's starting to look more like a bouquet. A thing to think about too is you really wanna think about where you're putting these because if you poke them in, take them out, poke them in, take them out, you're breaking down the integrity of your foam that you're actually building this on and it's gonna crumble and fall apart on you. So, and the first time you do this, I've had students do this, um, where they do them and then they're going, oh, I don't like it like that. I say, okay, you know, let's fix that. But um, it's really good to kind of have an idea of what you're going for when you start. So anyway, see how that's, you get like a little bit of a body to it now, okay? So I'm gonna hold these, I'm gonna put them to the side because as we're building the bouquet, we're going to add more accents in there. So the next thing you wanna do is your flowers. And what's really good, um, keep the leaves on. Pull your leaves up, because some of them, when you get them, your leaves are down here and you can slide them up. So slide your leaves up for they look good and they um, frame your, your sunflower, okay? These sunflowers I picked up from Joann's Fabric Store, if you can believe that. They have, um, florals and they also have jewelry so they're a sister of um, Michael's I believe so holding this kind of measure where you want to put that and remember what I said about making it down longer than shorter so I've measured that to give me an idea where I want to put it so now I'm going to cut it and I'm going to pop it in there I'm really trying to do this for you guys can see See that? Okay, so we're gonna do that real quick. And so just remember measuring. Measure twice, cut once, as my husband would say. Measure twice, cut once. So we're just gonna pop these in. 
I was sharing that sunflowers are real popular right now, so I chose to do sunflowers. Plus, I have a bridal consultation coming up um, that I like to have some sunflowers for her to take a look at because she likes the sunflowers. So see here on this side, I'm just going to pop. So you just kind of go around and you put them where you want them. Okay? And don't be afraid to use your product. And if you run out, you can always get more. You see how it's coming together? It's so pretty! <laughs> I'm enjoying the sunflower th theme right now too. A lot of young girls are just really into the country sunflowers. So, putting it on the top here. So you're just going to build that around. And then you're going to fluff it out, you know, bring your little things in. But see how that looks pretty cool, huh? So this is one bunch of sunflowers, and I might need to go grab another bunch because I want to, I want to make it fuller than this. Holly. So kind of spin your leaves around for those bare spots. Pull your baby breath out. And that gives you an idea. Super easy peasy. We're doing an easy, easy one today. Oh, look at that, I was prepared. I have them right here, yay. See, I was saying about how the leaves are down sometimes. Pull them up, and then just pop them on. Simple as that, just pop them in there. And you're just gonna do this all around your bouquet holder. Okay, so I'm this in real quick, okay? I can fluff it out and make it, you know, different later. I want you to be able to see, see on the top here, I'm gonna take this down in the middle. It's different when you're doing it for people to watch. So this one needs to be, this one, sorry, this one needs to be trimmed a little bit more. So we're getting the bouquet, looking at how we want it to look. Some of these I'm going to trim down a little bit more. And then you just go through, after you're done putting your, after you're done putting in your um, sunflowers, and you're going to blend in some more of your baby breath, just to make it pop. And you're gonna fill in those dead, those bald spots. So like there's a bald spot there. And you're just gonna pop them in, okay? So that gives you an idea. I know some people are going, wow, that didn't take long at all. When you're done with this, what you're going to do is, um, when you're real satisfied with how it looks and everything, then you're just gonna glue these little pieces in they don't fall off so you're just gonna tap them with a little glue pop them in I mean if you put them, pull them in take them out in the same spots you're good you're not going to see you're not going to break down the integrity too much okay so but see how come you do have to glue them in because they are going to pop out and fall so glue them in you don't want your bouquet falling apart on your bride or your young girl or whatever you're making this for, okay? So going back, I'm gonna take this apart a little bit before you can see what we're doing here. I take my bouquets apart all the time. Okay, go, they go over there. We're gonna go back. Oh no, she's taking it apart. <laughs> and we're going to show you here how to do your wrap. And it's easier to do your wraps first, like I said, when you wraps before you start. Um, that way it's done and it's out of the way. You're not, you know, having these in the way. Another trick you can do too when you're popping these in, if you want to do little accents, you just take a little piece of fabric, take your toothpick, run it through, 
and just poke it down in there, okay, like that. And that's how you make your little accents. That's, a, that's one way of doing them, okay? And that's, I'm trying to see if I, what I did on this bouquet, how you see these little ribbons coming out. And these, that's how I put them in, okay? And then if you want to make the, the one with the cascade, this is like, um, this one was really pretty long cascading floral. And then I run the leaves behind it just to give it a little pop. And on here, what's really popular right now is people like the twine and they like the lace. Okay, the, the lace you can pick up at um, the Dollar Tree for a dollar. For a dollar. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, and you don't have to do this wrap prior to doing your wrap. I just did it just because, just because, that's me. No, I did it because I wanted it to look clean and fresh. So I'm going to glue this on just to give it that little um, lace. I think the lace is really pretty. And I want to show you this too. So you could just actually do your pre-wrap with the lace. Kind of put it on there. Burn your fingers like me. I just burnt myself. Ah! But anyway, put it down there. Wrap it. Nice and tight. That's that's the key is getting it nice and tight. Okay, you see how that little ribbon there? And then I'm going to trim that off. It's allergy season for me, I apologize. Um, Maricopa, I am allergic to my new home, so I have allergies really bad. So, so see how we, I pulled it and matched it up now I'm going to glue that down. And I apologize if I'm going too fast, but this will be uploaded. And um, you can watch it over and over if you want. So I'm going to... Hi, Tina. I'm going to just kind of tap this down and hold that for a minute. Let that dry where I don't burn myself too bad. So if you're um, just tuning in, uh, there are other classes that I've done. I don't know if everyone's followed those or not, but if you go on um, the video feed on Hallie's Little Treasures, I have them uploaded there as well as just on Facebook. You can just type in my name and there should be like four or five classes that'll pop up. I'm doing kids classes on Wednesday and I'm actually going to move this class time to 1.30. Um, I'm finding out that works better for my people that are on Pacific time because I also have people on Eastern time watching So I'm trying to keep it where everybody can kind of be part of it So 1:30 gives them time to get there because not everybody has their kids out of school like in Maricopa We have no school, but um, in Reno. Sorry guys So professional in Reno we um, they do have school going on so they get home about 1:30. So I'm going to change the class time to 1:30. Wednesday will be 1:30. So here's the jute, and the reason I'm doing jute is I have a young bride that's, she's, she's doing the jute theme, like the sunflowers with the jute bottles. So I'm gonna do jute on this one, just to tie, tie those samples together, because like I said, I use these as class samples. So what you wanna do is measure out your, now that I talked a little bit and killed some time, we're gonna measure that out, okay? I'm going to say probably about 25, 27 inches times two. Okay. And what I like to do is I start from the bottom and I work my way up when I do my um, accents. It's cleaner that way because if you notice on bouquets, the, the bow is here, not here. 
So you want to bring it up here because the bow's going to cover it up when you tie it off. So, like, oh, okay. So you're just going to wrap it. This is going to be fun for me to do and show you how to do it, but I'm going to try. Crisscross it in the back. So that's just a, just a little crisscross and a tie. And then bring it to the front. Okay, crisscross it. And you're just going to do that all the way. But I just did what I told you not to do. I started at the top. So we're going to start at the bottom and do that. My bad. <laughs> so don't laugh, Tina. I can see you laughing good. Ha ha ha, Hallie. Okay, so nah, Tina's been my biggest fan. She's Tina like a way back. I knew Tina when she was a youngin'. Teresa and I go even back further because we went to Sunday school together. Okay, so take take it. Okay, crisscross it. Hope you can see this. So, and you're just going to crisscross this all the way up. It's real important to get that first one looking how you want it, and then just bring it up. And you're going to do that all the way up. So I'm going to kind of do this fast, and it's going to take a little practice to get that down. But once you get it down, you'll be able to do it pretty fast. And don't be afraid to make it tight because it's going to loosen up when you let go of it. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of get in here and I'm hoping that you can follow. Twist it. You're like, man, it looks like a lot of work. It's a little bit of work, but be a job, big or small, do it right or not at all, right? And you're just going to do it all the way up. And you can twist it as close or as far apart as you want. This is just going to show you. Myself, personally, I'm going to go back and I'm going to um, twist it closer as, I mean like super close all the way up. But that takes time and I don't want to hang you up here too long. Um, what I'll do is I'll post it on Howie's Little Treasures so you can see it finished. Um, but twist and turn, twist and turn, twist and turn, twist and turn. You'll do that all the way up. And what I would suggest, um, 27 inches is probably more than enough. But if you want to cut it 30 times 2, that's how you're going to do that. Um, and then it's going to end up looking um, pretty cool, actually. So another um, thing you can do is if you don't want to use the jute, you can use a thicker jute. Okay, so that one was the real thin jute. See how thin that is? This one's thicker. So kind of get your feel for what you want to do it with. Like I said, the reason I was using that one was because I have a wedding coming up, consultation, and I want to have, um, trying to do what the bride wants, you know, put it in there. But anyway, you're gonna wrap it with the thicker jute, either way, and you can cover this with fabric, and then do the same technique, crisscross, 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 and I'll make like a braid. I should have just left this one out. I'm gonna show you this one. It'll make like a braid, and it looks pretty cool when you do the braids. So, so this is the braid, what it looks like when you're done with the braid. And what I do with the braids, see how these little pearls are on here? I do these little pearls. I always put my head up because I feel like I need to look up. Sorry about that. Um, I put these little pearls on here just to accent and make it look a little bit prettier. And you could use color pearls in here if you wanted to, or crystals, or whatever you want. I mean, you can totally bling this out and it would look pretty cool. And this one was a sample that I made for um, a client. And she wanted the succulents with the blue. So what I did, because I couldn't find um, the blue that matched her dress, is I just painted it. So, see like the little accents here? So you can I'm going to show you too how you can make these little boutonnieres, okay? 
Here's a little tiny little corsage for like if you had a little flower girl or something. What's fun on these is that you can um, take the tape and you can twist them. You can put little wrappings on here, just like you do on the bridal bouquet. You can do that same application here. So anyway, so like on here, see how, how cute that is? Just within itself. If we were to add just a smidge of baby breath into that, and you wrap it with your floral tape, okay, easy enough to do, just smoosh down, wrap it, and what I do um, when I make these, I'm showing you the easy way, but when I do them, and I'm doing them for clients, is I actually trim out a lot of this, and I hand lay them in how I want them, and that way they lay and you don't see all this little plastic stuff going on in there. You know, I trim a lot of that up. And um, but you just wrap it, and you're good to go. And wrapping it is just twist it, get it going. And the, the, this tape, you can get at the Dollar Tree as well. You can also get it at um, any hobby, bridal, floral place. Everybody has this stuff. But the best place to find it for the for the money, more bang for your buck, is the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree um, has just a small little craft section. And I, I don't really buy my flowers there unless they have something exceptional. And sometimes they do. Um, sometimes the 99 cent store will surprise me too and have something kind of cool. But like I said, most of my flowers I get from, um, see how easy that is? Most of my flowers I get from Michaels, Joann's, um, or Amazon. I want to get quality product because um, if you're going to put time in it, just like I say with the jewelry class, don't buy the plastic beads because on the plastic beads they're going to flake and they're going to fall apart. And if you're going to put your time into a project, then make it worth your make it worth your while and make it nice, but it's going to last. Okay, so see how easy that was, and then all you're going to do. If you want to twist it up, okay. If you want it, if you, if you want it like that, push that up in there a little bit, and then you can um, do the wrap on that if you want, like the little burlap wrap. I'm just going to do it like that just to show you real quick. Okay. And for me, I do wrap these off when I do weddings and, and such. I, I, I like them finished off. And like I said, on this one here, I would probably trim this up a little bit in here. And then lay that down with my tape. But for time's sake and just to get you, you know, an idea of what you're doing, we're just going to do that. So, really cool um, jute stuff out there that you can buy and twine to make your little projects. And I think that's pretty much it. Um, as far as floral, I have a big old mess here. <laughs> as far as floral bouquets, floral bouquets are super, super easy. And um, it's just, they're imitate, you know, they kind of imitate, you, um, intimidate, there we go, intimidate because they're for special occasions. So what I would suggest is if you're making a floral bouquet and you're doing it the first time until you get the feel for it, buy extra flowers, buy extra accents, and then that way, if you make a mistake, no problem. You just fix it because <laughs> you have the extras to do it. You're not going to go, oh my God, I used my last flower and I cut it too short. If you do do that, there is a trick. Um, you can put your flower to the stem and use your tape. But I just showed you um, that, that green tape. I just threw it over here. I don't know what I did with it. Give it a use your green floral tape and just tape them together. So that's, that's easy enough to do. You would just take your flower, Put them like this, take your tape, and wrap them together. I don't like to do that just because that's me, but you can do that, and it's totally fine. And if you run it all the way up, and you floral tape it from the top up, it's going to be sturdier, and you're really not even going to know that. No one's even going to know that you, you oops and did that. So that's a good fix. And until next week, thank you guys for joining me. Um, that was a bridal bouquet. Super easy peasy or Kinsey edible bouquet or just a bouquet. 
Um, bouquets are kind of fun to have. Even if you have like little ones at home, you can make bouquets for them to play weddings and such. My granddaughters love that. Um, kind of outgrowing it now, but they, they really do like that. So it was really good seeing everybody. And um, I always close out with, um, have a good day and a better tomorrow. That's for my daddy. Um, stay safe, stay home. Uh, use these videos. There's, um, I think I said four or five of them I have loaded up right now just to give you something to do at home. Until next time, thank you for joining me. Feel free to share. Get out there and be safe. And gosh, until next time, peace out. <laughs> uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you.